hard hitting sports in your face. All right, so what's the deal, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to Hard Hitting Sports. Uh, I am your host, Isaiah Harris, and we are talking about. <laughs> fuck you. Whoa. We, we, yeah, my wife. Hear yeah, my wife in the background booing me and shit. Every video. Fuck you. Boo, 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 boo. Anyway, anyway, folks, um, we are talking about the 2014-2015 uh, Pro Bowl selections. Let's start off with the quarterback um, position. Um, um, we have uh, Tom Brady of the Patriots, Andrew Luck of the Colts, Peyton Manning of the Broncos, Aaron Rodgers of the Packers, Big Ben Roethlisberger of the Steelers, Tony Romo of the Cowboys. Um, who would I say is a snub on this list? Uh, I would definitely say Russell Wilson. You can't leave off a top five quarterback in the NFL, not have him on this list. Um, I mean, honestly, if I was selecting a quarterback to, to build my franchise around, I would probably take Aaron Rodgers first. Andrew Luck would probably be second. Then Russell Wilson. And then pretty much everybody else. I'll probably take um, Big Ben, then Joe Flacco, et cetera, et cetera. But that's just me. That's just how I look at it. And you know how I feel about the fucking stand around. Anyway, um, uh, down to the running back position, we have uh, Bell from the Steelers. We have Jamal Charles from the Chiefs. We have Arian Foster from the Texans, Marshawn Lynch from the Seahawks, LaShawn McCoy from the Eagles, and DeMarco Murray um, rounds out the list from the Cowboys. So that is a pretty solid list of running backs. And trying to figure out if there is a snub there. I can't think of anybody. What's not? All right. All right. I'll, I'll make a video with my kids, Kimberly. Now. I'm talking about football right now. Boy. All right, so I'm trying to see if we have any snubs on this list. Um, Justin Forsett of the Baltimore Ravens had 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns. If you think about it, Justin Forsett had a better year than Shady McCoy. Shady McCoy has 1,200 yards, but he only has five touchdowns. Justin Forsett has 1,100 yards, but he's got eight touchdowns. I'm trying to figure out um, how many receptions. I don't see it here. This is just simply rushing. They don't factor in. So that that might be the thing. They might be um, factoring in all of that. But if you look at just stats, pure stats alone, um, it's a little bit of a snub for Justin for set for set to not be there. Uh, Jamal Charles only has nine hundred and seventy nine nine touchdowns, but he's like the the lowest yardage gainer in the entire in the entire fucking league. That shit doesn't make any kind of sense. I don't get that. Nine hundred and seventy nine yards and nine touchdowns. That might just be a popularity vote right there for um, Jamal Charles. Anyway, I spent too much time on the running backs. Um, now, let's shift our way to the uh, wide receivers. For wide receivers, we have Antonio Brown, Des Bryant, A.J. Green, T.Y. Hilton, Calvin Johnson, Julio Jones, 
Okay, we got Jordy Nelson, Demarius Thomas. All right. I, I mean, I, I can agree with pretty much um, everybody on this list. I'm looking at the stats at the same time, trying to, trying to, trying to see if there were any snubs, which, for the most part, I don't see any snubs. Oh my God. Say whatever. Everybody at my school, okay? You see my crazy ass family? Anyway. One more thing. Hit daddy. Hit daddy. All right, bedtime. Bedtime. Everybody go to everybody leave me the hell alone and let me record this video. <sighs> These have been the longest 12 years of my life. Y'all don't even understand. Anyway, um, my family crazy as hell. You don't even you don't even get it. All right, so um, next let's slide to the tight end position. Uh, for the tight ends, we have uh, Jimmy Graham, we have uh, Rob Gronkowski, we have uh, Greg Olson, and we have uh, Julius Thomas. Now, of course. Depending on what teams make it into the uh, into the Super Bowl, will determine if some of these players are gonna play or not. So, I mean, there's a couple players that I don't even. I'm looking at this list. I don't think they will even be able to play in the in the, the Pro Bowl because they will be participating in the Super Bowl. Um, I like that list. That's a pretty solid list. Jimmy Graham, Rob Gronkowski, uh, Greg Olson. And uh, Julius Thomas. I don't, I don't have a problem with that list, even though Martellius Bennett leads all tight ends in receptions, but he only has six touchdowns. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like. I pretty much like that list. Hmm. Let me see. Hold on now. Where's Julius Thomas at? Antonio Gates has 65 receptions and hmm, 65 receptions and 12 touchdowns. I don't even see Antonio. I don't even see. Who am I missing? I don't see Julius Thomas on this list as far as stat-wise is concerned. I'm trying to find him as far as receptions and touchdowns. I don't see him. Antonio Gates is before. Antonio Gates has better stats than Julius Thomas. Hmm. Where the hell is Julius Thomas? by I'm just looking I'm just looking through the ranking real quick see man I hate when you get these you get these popularity picks so you get a guy that that really didn't have a great season in the Pro Bowl based off of some other last year popularity and shit it doesn't even make sense I'm at number Jerry where the hell is Julius Thomas? I st I'm at hmm. Julius Thomas has 43 receptions and what is that? 12 no 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. This man has 43 receptions but he's got 12 touchdowns. So I don't know, man. That's an iffy one. Julius Thomas only has 43 receptions. I don't, I, I don't. If you look at it stat wise, Gates had a, had a better year than he did. So did uh, Kelsey had a better year than he did. There's a couple guys. Martellius Bennett is, is not a pro bowler. All right. Anyway, next um, we have John Kuhn. Marcel Reese are your fullbacks. 
I am going to completely skip over the offensive line. No, I'm not. Let's talk offensive line. Uh, tackles, Ryan Clady, Jason Peters of the Eagles, Tyron Smith of the Cowboys, Joe Staley of the uh, 49ers, Joe Thomas of the Browns, Trent Williams, pretty solid picks, uh, Jahari Evans, Mike Impati of the 49ers, Kyle Long of the Bears, a Bear lineman made it, mm, I don't know, Zach Martin of the Cowboys, Josh Sitton of the Packers, Marshall Yada of the Ravens, Travis Frederick, Jason Kelsey of the Eagles, Nick Mango of the Jets, and Marquise Pouncey of the Steelers. I, I can dig all of those picks, all right? Now, your defensive ends um, are Calais Campbell, Robert Quinn, Cameron Wake of the Dolphins, Demarcus Ware um, of the Broncos, J.J. Watt, of course, and Mario Williams. So a nice stacked um, set of defensive ends. All of these defensive ends, to me, belong to be there, uh, especially J.J. Watt and Mar J. 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 Watt, Mario Williams, and Cam Wake is scary. Um, interior lineman, you have Marcel Darius of the Bills, um, Aaron Donald of the Rams. That's a good look. Uh, Gerald McCoy, who was rewarded with that nice contract. Uh, Dontari Poe of the Chiefs. And Amakinsu of the Lions. And uh, Kyle Williams of the Bills. So that's pretty solid. Um, Ohio, outside linebacker, you have Connor Baldwin. Connor Baldwin of the Eagles? I guess. That was Dumerville of the Rams, who I mean of the Ravens, who's had an excellent season for the Ravens. Uh, Tamba Ali, Justin Houston, Clay Matthews, and of course uh, Von Miller. And at the middle linebacker, the inside linebackers. Ooh, oh wow! You have Luke Keekley, of course. You have C.J. Mosley. You have Lawrence Timmons. And you got Bobby Wagner. Not a single 49er made this list. Ooh. I don't know about that. Um, at cornerback, you have Vontae Davis of the Colts, Brent Grimes, Joe Hayden, Chris Harris, Patrick Peterson, Darrell Revis, Richard Sherman, and Akeem Tlaib. So that's pretty solid at the cornerback position. Um, at safety, you have uh, Tashawn Gibson of the Browns, Glover Quinn of the Lions, Earl Thomas, and Eric Weddle. Uh, where's the kid from the Vikings? That is a snub. That is a snub. The kid from the Vikings has had a fantastic year. With I think he has five picks. I think, he, if I'm not mistaken, he has the most picks of any safety in the NFL. So that is a snub. That is definitely a snub. <laughs> what is his name? I'm bad with names, but and I usually, I usually don't try to Harrison Smith Harrison Smith has had a fantastic year with uh, fantastic just fantastic stats here man and he snubbed see what I mean that's why I don't like these awards that are given to people because of their name let me see. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know because there's a lot of guys that had that had great years. Had some solid years here. Cool. Yeah, but Harrison Smith, if you're looking at stats, he 
he's got 89 tackles and he's got five five picks so i don't know i mean tashawn gibson has 65 tackles and seven interceptions um well glover that was glover quinn excuse me tashawn gibson has 52 tackles and six picks so i don't know that's their tackle numbers are both lower than the kid uh harrison smith from the minnesota vikings um at strong safety you have cam chancellor uh tj ward from the broncos i'm not gonna argue with those but um the best part about this is is that the miami dolphins do have two pro bowlers we've got uh brent grimes is a pro bowler and we have Cam Wake. Cam Wake with 11 and a half sacks this year. Brent Grimes having an, a another outstanding injury-free season. That was the one knock on Brent Grimes. Brent Grimes uh, having five picks, 56 tackles. Another solid year for Brent Grimes. And of course, we all remember um, that magical pick that he had. Uh, what was that? One. That was like a one-handed pick. So. Um, yeah, I'm about to get back to watching my heat play while I have a little bit of time tonight. Anyway, man, yes, my family is in here with me watching SpongeBob and singing along with the songs. It's a Christmas set. Sing, who who sing who sing those songs? Who sing those songs? Could you please let them sing the song? Don't sing. Don't ever sing. Please, please don't ever sing. Anyway, folks. I um I'm I am out of here. I will talk to you next time.